Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a haul. So I went on vacation to LA to go visit a friend. I got back about a week ago and I picked up a few things while I was there so I thought I would show you guys what I got there and then a few other things that I've picked up within the past month or so. Okay, so I'm gonna start with clothing and the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is this dress from Killstar. So it is this um, mesh maxi dress. It's like totally see-through so you have to wear something under it but it is just like a long dress and it is so pretty. I don't know if you guys can really see um, what the pattern looks like but there's like a star and then just like some lines going all the way down and it has long sleeves. And I bought this dress on Depop. I think I paid around $40 plus shipping. And I got the dress in a size extra small. So I picked up a couple Unif Moto jackets. I'm just totally obsessed with Unif Moto jackets. Um, so the first one I bought on Kijiji, which is pretty much like Craigslist. Um, so I picked this up from someone in Toronto. So it is just this awesome leopard print Moto jacket. And then it has like spikes on the back of it. And then it also has spikes on the shoulder. This jacket is like so heavy because all of these spikes are made out of metal. And I'm not too sure how to wear a purse with this because I'm kind of scared it'll poke holes in the strap. I guess I would just have to like use a clutch when I wear this. And this jacket is a size small and it fits perfectly. The next moto jacket I picked up is this black one. So on the front it just looks like a plain moto jacket. But then on the back it has this awesome Union Jack on it. And I got this one in a size medium. Um, it actually fits pretty big, so I'm not sure if this is maybe like a unisex one because I have other moto jackets from Unif in size medium and they fit pretty well. So um, I don't mind though, like it's kind of good if I want like an oversized look, I guess. And I bought that one on Depop. I forget how much I paid, but I know I paid around 50 for the leopard one. The next clothing item that I have to show you guys is this awesome misfit sweater. It is by the brand Iron Fist. I got this in a size extra small and this is just the most amazing knitted sweater. I absolutely love the misfit, so I was super excited to find this. I've been looking for this sweater for so long and then I finally found it on eBay, so I was really excited. So the next thing I'm going to show you guys is this sweater from H&M, and it's actually by their Divided line. So it's just like this nice long hooded sweater. So I was actually shopping with my boyfriend in the men's section and I just saw this hanging on a rack and I just thought it was so cool. So I looked through them and I found a size extra small so I decided to try it on and it totally fit. And it totally reminded me of something that Killstar might have. So yeah, next time you're at H&M, definitely check out the men's section because they have some really cool stuff there. And this sweater was $50 and I usually wouldn't really pay that much for like an H&M sweater but I just really liked it a lot and I figured if I were to buy something similar from like Killstar it would be like probably double that. So. so when I was in LA I was walking down Melrose Avenue which is like an amazing shopping street like they have so many amazing stores there. I was just like in heaven. <laughs> and I was walking by a store and I saw these boots in the window and I have been wanting these boots for so long but I haven't bought them because in reviews people have been saying that the sizing is weird and I didn't want to risk buying it and then having to return them because returning things from Canada can be like a huge hassle so I have been holding off on buying these but they are the Why Are You Aura boots so they look like this they have like the sun and moon cutouts on the front and they have like a bit of a chunky heel. They're like totally witchy and awesome. I believe it was called the LF Outlet Store where I found them and they were only $50. I'm really glad I didn't buy them online because usually I'm a size eight and I got these in a size nine and they fit like perfectly. Like they actually fit pretty snug too. So a size eight would have been way too small. So I'm really happy I waited to try them on before I bought them. Another thing that I bought in LA is this choker that I'm wearing from Just Forever 21. It was like $3. I just thought it was really cute. I just wanted a choker that was like simple and I love the little moon on it. I just thought it was really cute. Next I'm going to show you a few things that I picked up at Sephora. So the first couple things are like repurchases of things that I'm running out of and I needed to just pick up again. So the first thing is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion and this is just like the original one. This is like the best eyeshadow primer at least for me. Um, I just found that this one works really well and it keeps my makeup in place all day which is awesome because otherwise it's all over the place. I've been using this for a few years now and I totally swear by it. I tried a few other ones and I just didn't like them as much. 
And the next thing I picked up is this Kat Von D tattoo liner um, in the color Trooper. So it's just like the black color. Um, I've been using this for over a year now and I just absolutely love it. The next thing I picked up from Sephora is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. And I got this in the color Ebony. Uh, which is just like a very very dark brown like it's almost black I know I'm totally late to the party on this probably everyone has tried this or everyone has this by now so since everyone says such good things about it I thought I would try it the next thing I got from Sephora is this set of bite beauty lipsticks and the set is called the perfect bite so it has this one like dark red shade which I'm actually wearing today and then it has these three neutrals so this is like the outside cardboard packaging and then inside of that it's like this cute little red tin and then when you open it there's like a mirror in the top and then four little mini lipsticks in there I absolutely love mini lipsticks because I find when I buy a full-size lipstick it just like goes bad by the time I can use all of it I paid $26 for this and while I was at Sephora I also picked up one of their hundred point rewards so this is the bite beauty lipstick in the color licorice and I will swatch these ones for you guys so you can see what they look like so here are the swatches of those lipsticks. So the first one here is called Nori. The next one is Honeycomb. And then next is Pepper. And then the pink one here is Fig. And then this red one on the bottom is called Licorice. I've really been loving the Bite Beauty lipsticks. I just feel that like they're super creamy when they go on. Like they're really easy to apply and they smell really good too. So that's a bonus. So the next thing I'm going to show you guys is like a whole bunch of soaps that I bought. So I went to a vendor sale in my town and there's a local company, it's called OWL, which is short for Open With Love. And they sell all kinds of like bath bombs and soaps and things like that. And I'm just super in love with their soaps, like they just smell so amazing. And they came out with a bunch of like Christmas ones, so I picked up a whole bunch of them. So the first like soap, which is actually a two-in-one, it's um, shampoo and soap. Um, it's called Nature's Calling and it's like rosemary, peppermint, and tea tree and it just smells so good. The next one I got is called Reindeer Games, and it is patchouli, rosewood, and vanilla soap. This next one I thought was really cool. It's called Apple Pie, and it has like a piece of apple and a cinnamon stick sticking out of it. And this one is Apple Pie, Vanilla, Cinnamon, and Clove Soap. The next one is called Fall Leaves, and this one just says All Spice Autumn Soap. And then the last one I got is just like a plain lavender soap. You just can never go wrong with lavender. It always smells really good. So these soaps were, I think, around $7 each. But they do last for a long time. Like, I have one that I've been using for, like, a month now. They just last forever, and they smell amazing. And I definitely love to support local businesses, so definitely shop local if you can help out the small businesses. And I will post a link to Owl's Etsy shop below. You guys should definitely check them out. When I was in LA, I stopped at Target because, for me, no trip to the States is complete without a trip to Target. The only thing I picked up there was actually these Christmas ornaments. So it's just this little like 16 pack of mini ornaments. And I found this in their dollar section. It was only a dollar, so you can't go wrong with that. I've actually been looking for mini ornaments. Um, this year we're not putting up a Christmas tree. We're actually just decorating this hanging plant we have because that way the cats can't get to it. So it's just a lot easier that way. So I was really happy to find these little ornaments. They're just perfect for my little plant. And I will insert a picture of my Christmas plant here if I'm done decorating it by the time I put up this video. So the last thing on my haul today is from Society6, so they had a sale going on, so I picked up a couple throw pillows from them. So I just got these awesome Ouija pillows for my couch. So it basically just looks like a Ouija board, so I picked up a couple of these, and then also like the pillow inserts that go inside of them. I absolutely love Ouija stuff, so I thought this would be perfect for my living room. And I'll put the link below for these throw pillows if you guys want to check it out. So cue scene change because I always forget to include things in my haul. So I just wanted to show you guys a couple more things that I picked up when I was in LA. So um, I picked up a couple CDs uh, when I was in LA. We went to Amoeba Music in Hollywood and it was just a really cool music store. Like they sold music on vinyl, they sold CDs and they had all kinds of cool posters and t-shirts and stuff like that. So I picked up a couple CDs that I wanted to show you guys. So the first one I got is the Misfits Legacy of Brutality. So it's just a really good Misfits CD. I really like a lot of songs on this one. And then the second one I got is A Bad Religion, How Could Hell Be Any Worse? Um, so just a couple good classics there. I like to have CDs because I can listen to them in my car and that's like the only way I can listen to music in my car. So that's why I like to buy CDs. The second thing that I got that I forgot to show you guys is this awesome hot sauce. So we went to this farmer's market. I think it's just called like LA farmer's market or something like that. So they had one store that only sold hot sauces. So I had to get this one because I thought the label was just hilarious. And besides the funny label, it's actually pretty good too. 
So that was everything in my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!